Hello! Thank you for checking out my YouTube video today. This is actually my second posting for the day, and it's actually uh, in response to one of the first comments I got, which was, uh, get in a VGA car to work. Now, be after I made that video reading that comment, I uh, it's kind of like challenge accepted. Let's uh, see if we can do it. So I've never done it before that last video. Um... So the BIOS that's built into this uh, book 8088 is uh, very particular for this system, of course. So however, with the FPGA or whatever those three chips that are under the hood are doing for the CGA screen, the BIOS is written for that or, or modified for that. Um, so all I did to get the VGA card to work was I got rid of the um, factory BIOS that came from China and uh, I took the BIOS off of my homemade PC here and uh, copied it over to chip. Now I did not write the BIOS for my homemade PC. There was a, a lot of help from uh, other people to write that. I did write an original really, really bad BIOS, but uh, somebody else came along and developed a really nice BIOS for my homemade PC. But what I did was I put it on a, a different chip. Obviously, I don't want to destroy my original BIOS. And I plugged it into the BIOS socket here. You can kind of see the transparency is there. So the only thing is with this new BIOS is it's not set up for the compact flash or the USB that's internal. So we're going to use my USB card for the drive. So let's connect everything together here. Now, I've tried this with the uh, power connected and with the power not connected. In my last video, I discussed connecting the power to the card for um, the serial port to make it work. And so far, it doesn't seem to make a difference with the VGA card, whether the power's here or to the uh, PC. I'll just make sure everything's where it should be. We'll connect the card there. So let's just turn it on. Still get that to focus. That's a little better. So you can see with no modification of the, the BIOS for my uh, homemade PC, it uh, boots up to using this USB drive, of course, not the built in one. And it boots up using a VGA card. Um, it's kind of blurry, but, uh, the, the point is made there where the VGA does work and it's, uh, being powered by the book 8088. Um, let me get both screens in the shot here. As you can see, the book 8088 has, the screen is, is dark because it was never really initialized. Um... What I want to show, though, um, if we run a program that tries to initialize a CGA screen, this actually will start to mess around a little bit. Now, this is running probably in the whatever the base mode is. I'm sure all the function keys are uh, not available because there's been no modification to implement them for this machine. So as you can see, now this screen is starting to initialize a little bit because it is mapped to the correct CGA locations, but we are running a uh, VGA screen over there. So that's the one thing I noted was, uh, I mean, it was dark while we were uh, just in DOS, but now that I'm trying to run something in a CGA graphics, it, uh, it's uh, interfering with it. 
So you could probably write a modified BIOS that either does dual screens or at least blanks this one out completely when you're using a VGA card. Now, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to mount a driver for the CH375 that's built in on the side or uh, even the compact flash. But uh, what I like about this is that the two things, one, it shows the VGA works and two, it shows my uh, custom made USB card works as well on this machine. So there's really no need to play the game, put it up again. I want to run check it. I, I just want to see how fast it's going with this. Let's see if we can get a best view possible on that screen there. Sometimes I'll use a bigger monitor when I do this so that it's clear. Probably take that mouse out of the auto exec there. Oh, that's about as good as we're going to get for now. But yeah, I want to run check it. To just see how fast Just see how fast the, the processor is running. And this does have the B20. I said that in the last video. I may go back to the 8088-1 uh, that came with the uh, book 8088. A lot of this I just wanted to get as much speed as I could when I was messing around with it. So let's test the main system. This should give us our benchmarks. Um, not running a math code processor, uh, on the discord page, I think it's been discussed. It just gets way too hot for most people to even have it installed. And there's really not that many programs from the 1980s that need it. So it looks like we're running uh, 1.2 times faster than a PCXT. So that's probably accounted for with the V20 entirely. So it is running, uh, most likely at the 4.77 megahertz. And all we really need to do is find out what uh, register we need to write to to change it over to the 8 megahertz. Um, which, with this book 888, there's not a lot of documentation. So let's test, let's just test the system board. See what we got here. We did this in my first video. Channel 0 failed, and, uh, and that was due to, they're probably not using it for the refresh cycle. I'm thinking there is a refresh cycle, uh, but DMA uh, channel zero is not always used on later PCs for that. As far as I know, it's only got interrupt um, IRQ zero through uh, seven, just so the one interrupt controller. Can... All right, and this will give us our summary, and you can see channel zero failed. So um, that's the system board. So anyway, the real the real point of this video was mainly showing that VGA does work. Um, it just requires a modification to the BIOS. And I think the big big thing I've looked at is let's scrap the BIOS that came from China altogether and uh, move on to and build a better BIOS. So anyway, uh, I definitely recommend checking out the uh, previous two videos if you haven't seen them. And uh, please uh, subscribe or hit the like button and I'll uh, catch you on the next video. Thanks.